Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. If you've ever seen a metal print, it probably struck you as contemporary, industrial, minimalist, and edgy. It's no wonder that they've become so popular for photos, art, and signage. Today, we've broken down three different print technologies that are capable of making metal prints. Dye sublimation, UV, and latex. We're gonna take these one by one and tell you the strengths of each printing approach before awarding our favorite printer for metal prints. Let's start with the oldest way to make a digital metal print. This would be UV flatbed printing. UV flatbed printing has been around for decades, but in the past several years, the advancements of print technology has truly allowed flatbed printers to make photographic quality metal prints. Our favorite UV printer for metal prints is the Epson V7000. With 10 inks in the ink set, the V7000 offers a wide color range providing peak quality, vibrant, and detailed metal prints. Let's quickly highlight the strengths and weaknesses of making metal prints with a UV flatbed Epson SureColor V7000, starting with the strengths. First, it's a one-step process. There is no second step post-process required. The UV ink is instantly cured and ready for the hanging hardware to be attached. Second, the Epson V7000 has an included gloss varnish channel to accent metal prints with the extra gloss shine. This is very cool as a spot effect to highlight parts of the print on top of the metallic surface. Third, it has an impressive photographic color gamut highlighted by a red ink for a big, bold color range. And finally, the ACM metal panels compatible with UV printing like aluminum dye bond are reasonably priced and there are lots of unique specialty options to choose from, including gold and rose gold panels. As for the downsides of printing metal with the Epson V7000, first, it has a large footprint required in your print shop. The recommended space to comfortably operate the printer is 17 feet by 22 feet. Second, the inks have a textured matte look that sits on top of the metallic surface. This leads the print to lose its high gloss look in areas where ink is laid down. Many people are looking for that high gloss modern metal look and UV inks tend to take away from that effect. Finally, the cost to purchase the V7000 starts around $100,000, which is an excellent value compared to other flatbed printers, but is still a significant investment to begin making metal prints. So where did we land? If you have the space and the budget for a UV flatbed like the Epson V7000, this is a great way to offer metal prints. While not our first choice for a dedicated metal printer, a single UV printer gives you the ability to print other high value substrates like wood and acrylic, giving you the flexibility to offer wall art in sizes up to four foot by eight foot in a variety of surfaces. Another print technology capable of beautiful metal prints is HP Latex. HP came out with their R-Series latex printers capable of printing on rigid metal panels in 2018, making this the newest form of metal printing on our list. HP's portfolio consists of the R1000, capable of printing on panels up to 64 inches wide, and the R2000 with a 98-inch print width capacity. Note that either of these models can print nearly unlimited print lengths. So, if you can source a metal panel 20 feet long, you could create incredible panoramic metal prints. Let's look at the pros and cons of metal printing with the HP Latex R-Series, starting with the pros. Number one, latex print technology takes on the characteristics of the metal panel, so it allows the gloss substrate to show through the inks in a way that UV printing does not. This provides a higher gloss and more modern look than you'll find with UV printing. Number two, while HP does require a heated curing process to set the inks, it is handled in line as a single process without any user intervention. This makes latex metal prints a seamless one-step process. And number three, for the most part, the same ACM metal panels that are compatible with UV printing are compatible with latex printing. This gives you access to lots of colors and finishes and provides a lower cost substrate when compared to sublimation metal panels. As for the downsides of printing metal with the HP Latex R-Series, in our testing, metal panels printed with latex inks are the least durable and most prone to scratching. This isn't an issue if they're handled with care, but we have seen scratch damages when shipping metal prints. This is something to be aware of as a potential limitation. Secondly, the R1000 and R2000 both have very large footprint requirements. The smaller R1000 has a recommended space of 20 feet by 22 feet, and the R2000 is suggested to have a 24 foot by 29 foot working area where the printer is placed. 
And finally, the HP Latex R-Series is the most expensive print platform on our list. The R1000 starts at $165,000, and the R2000 is nearly $230,000. This is no small investment. The HP Latex R-Series is the most versatile printer we sell. It can print rolls of media and rigid boards. It can print yard signs one minute and wallpaper the next. It will print on-demand white ink when you need it and give you zero white ink headaches when you don't need that capability. This Swiss Army knife printer also makes incredible metal prints. While not my first choice for a dedicated metal printer, the Latex R-Series would be my first choice if I were an entrepreneur looking to offer a variety of high-end print surfaces, including killer metal prints. The last metal printing technology in our video today is dye sublimation. Sublimation has a metal printing superpower not found in any other print technology. Rather than using an ink that sits on top of metal, the dye sublimation process involves a liquid dye that turns into a gas and stains or dyes the surface coating of the metal. This has two huge benefits. One, it allows for the most durable metal prints on the market. Because the surface of the metal is dyed, the ink can't be scratched off. To damage a sublimation metal print, you need to gouge the metal coating itself. The second benefit is that because the ink isn't on the surface of the metal, a dye sub metal printer has a consistent mirror gloss shine across the whole surface. This effect is stunning in person and hopefully also on video. Another major benefit of this method of metal printing is that sublimation printers come in sizes and prices to fit every price point. It's a very scalable solution that can take you from an at-home startup to a production photo lab. You can begin using a desktop dye sub printer for under $500. But there are some other downsides to dye sub metal printing. First, it is a multi-step process. You start by printing to a transfer paper, and then you take that paper to your heat press to apply 400 degrees of heat for 60 plus seconds. This process isn't as straightforward as either of the single step methods that we outlined earlier. Second, this heat press is a separate expense. To do quality metal prints, you need a flat press that is air operated to apply consistent pressure across the entire press surface. Small air automated heat presses are under $3,000, but to do larger panels up to 40 inches by 60 inches, you will need a heat press exceeding $20,000. Finally, the metal panels used for sublimation have to be specially coated to receive the gaseous dye transfer. Applying that coating is an unforgiving and costly process in manufacturing. If the surface isn't perfect, you will see every defect in the mirror gloss finish. So for this reason, there is only one very high quality, high-end metal producer in the US, and that's Chromalux. They make a fantastic product, but it is a very expensive product at around $10 per square foot. This is a downside when compared to aluminum composite panels for UV and latex printing at half that price. So if I were looking to produce the highest quality metal prints possible, I would use a dye sublimation printer. If I had a production facility, I would buy the four color Epson F6470 44 inch printer and a 44 inch by 64 inch maxi press for a total package price under $30,000. If I were starting out with metal prints in a tighter space or a home environment like this, I would buy the desktop 24 inch Epson F570 and the 20 inch by 25 inch air automated Geonite swing away press. The bundled price would be about $6,500. I hope this gives you a good overview of three of the most popular ways to produce elegant and dynamic metal prints. Each one has its pros and cons, and it's important to pick the right printer that fits your needs and your budget. The best way to compare all three print technologies is to spend a few hours with us here in our Chicagoland Demo Center. We'll print your files on these various technologies so you can see which one makes the most sense for you. To schedule that demo, reach out to us at itsupplies.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this video. Give us a like and subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day.